So Hannes Holm, welcome to Washington DC and welcome to the Embassy of Sweden. Thank you. Very nice embassy. Thank you. Yeah. We have the king and yeah. the queen yeah. Yeah. and Greta Garbo accompanying us. Yeah, we have a uh, colleague of mine, uh, Greta Garbo. Uh, never worked with her, but, but I've been in the same house as she, she used to meet persons. <laughs> <laughs> Not telling anymore. Not bad. No. Can I ask you, um, A Man Called Uwe is a very popular book, also in the US. It's been on the best-selling mm. list for almost 40 weeks now. Okay. Mm. okay. And it's the most popular book in different book clubs. Yes. Were you scared to dig into this story and make a film of it? Yes. As you can see, I'm not a strong guy. <laughs> and uh, book lovers tends to be very, very aggressive uh, when it comes to shoot a, a, a film of the uh, of popular book, so I was very nervous when I start to, to write the script and I uh, really gave it some thoughts. Um, so so I, I try to do, do my my best and I, uh, the best way is to steal the story out mm. from the book, not trying to shoot the book, try to shoot the story uh, in, instead. Uh, and, and I kept the cat. Oh, <laughs> yes. And uh, who's the most aggressive uh, book lover you've met so far? <laughs> <laughs> a former girlfriend, in fact. Really? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What did she do? Uh, uh, no, she, she called me and, and uh, screamed, you must have that, you must have the scene uh, when uh, he puts on the radio, uh, he's going to shoot himself so the cat can't hear uh, uh, when the rifle uh, goes off. So that scene I is... It's in? It's in the scene. Oh, good. <laughs> it's, in the, uh, it's in the film, yes. Maybe she saved you some uh, uh, hits. Hits, yeah. I think, I think uh, talking about the cat, the, 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 the film cost uh, 350,000 solid dollars, and the uh, box office gross is uh, 20 million dollars now. So, and I think the cat have a big uh, part of it. <laughs> Working with Fredrik Backman was also nice because uh, we met once uh, before I, I wrote the script and, and he said, Hannes, I don't know anything about uh, script writing or filmmaking, so please write uh, and then you can name me. And uh, I, I wrote the script pretty quick in two months' time, uh, nailed him, and the next day I got a mail from Fredrik and I was so nervous. And I, uh, I, I opened it up and it was just one word. It was yes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I did the film, and then I became nervous again w uh, during the editing, put some music in the film, and, and uh, said to Annika, my producer, we, we must, uh, Freddy must see the film now. And he came, he didn't want to meet me, and the next day, yes. So just two words, of, of and he's an author, you know, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's just, but, but it, it was a big responsibility to do it. I'm, I'm used to write my own story. Mm. Are you looking, are you reading now in a different way when you've s done a film from a book? H has that changed your way of reading books? Uh, are you looking for new films? It's changed my way of uh, being a filmmaker. Mm. Uh, sometimes if you're lucky, uh, people can get, a film can change you. Mm. And, and uh, I, I think I was a bit like Uwe in, in the sense of, of just want to do my own stories all the time. Now I, I start to, to look at other people's stories as, as well uh, and, and find things uh, in them. So, so in a way, I'm, I'm changed mm. <laughs> after seeing the film myself. Mm. Would you say that Uwe is, uh, the character of Uwe is uh, typically Swedish, this grumpy old man? Uh, have, have, have I have shown the film now in, in, uh, in the States, in Los Angeles, and in Minneapolis, and, and uh, in Washington. I've been to... Amsterdam, I've uh, been to Germany, uh, uh, I've been to Moscow. Uh, the reactions are quite similar. Mm. Uh, this grumpy old man. <laughs> he's everywhere. He's, he's everywhere. Uh, but the stupid thing was that when, the, when I sat down and started to write the script, uh, I couldn't realize that uh, it uh, took me this far s standing here and being interviewed at the Swedish embassy. And uh, uh, so grump sometimes grumpy old man surprises you. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have to congratulate you again because now you're going around the U.S. to, to make promo and meet the, the audiences and the press. And you're also on the long, long short list. Long short list. <laughs> of to the Academy Awards. Yes. Yes. So, uh, That's a bonus. That's uh, fantastic. Is that a uh, childhood dream? Uh, no, no? I, 
it's not that I'm, I, 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 uh, as a director I'm used to, I, I want to have control over things so this kind of, of uh, competition I, is more like uh, 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 another part of the peer industry of, mm -hmm. of the film but on the other way I'm pretty much sure so I'm, I'm happy <laughs> uh, of being a, a, mm. a Swedish entry for those people. Mm. And uh, can I ask you um, about your favorite Colour? film? Uh, favorite color, yeah, you can <laughs> tell your favorite, favorite color if you <laughs> if you eager. I tell a, a secret. I'm colorblind. Oh. And uh, for being a, I, I would have been a Swedish director when it was only <laughs> black and white thing. But <laughs> it's uh, sometimes uh, no, I, I'm colorblind. Um, uh, but uh, only the uh, you know like the when 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 red turns to green and, and so on. Uh, mm -hmm. um, but uh, my favorite films, mm -hmm. um, American and Swedish. Uh, I'm doing things. I, I'm uh, I'm not watching that much. Uh, I try to be this ordinary uh, guy meeting uh, ordinary people. So the films I, I like is like uh, the first film. Uh, uh, the first great big impression was uh, uh, Peter Longstrong stocking uh, in the s in the out on the sea mm -hmm. uh, when I was a boy, and then I I uh, start to love Kubrick and his films. And then when I discovered uh, the Italian director Ettore Scola, I can find myself in him because he, he's doing this kind of films with, with both uh, humor and, and, and um, emotions and, and tragedy. So What's your favorite Scola then? Visma uh, Fiona oh, so mycket. We who loved each other so much. <laughs> I don't know what the, the American title of it. But, um, but nowadays it's like films like uh, Forrest Gump, for mm. example. So, so I, I like films, uh, the best films, uh, stories, in uh, when you m can mix emotions because it's so many genre things being done. But, but it's, it's, a, it's a trick uh, mm. to, to do it. Uh, uh, Ralph Lasford was very helpful with me in this film, not being too funny. Mm. Good. Is Pippi Longstocking still your s Swedish favorite movie? Uh, yes, yeah. of course. Uh, 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 on, on my hand, it's uh, yeah. uh, definitely. Top def one. Definitely, definitely. Good. Yeah, yeah. So I, I met Beppe Wolgers once as a hero because yeah. he was her father. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Hannes. Good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs>